So in today's video, we're going to cover a technique for painting these sort of loose, energetic florals. Not only is this a super easy and relaxing method of painting, it's also a great chance for me to show off a handy blending trick for getting a wet-on-wet -wet watercolor effect. So the watercolor texture that you see here is mostly coming from the back run paper texture. I'm also using the Alpine Forest brushes, and that's because it's got two really great brushes for painting in this loose style. And to start painting, I'm gonna first use the fuzzy round brush and a pretty bright yellow color. And I'm gonna go through and paint the petals pretty randomly. And periodically I'll shift the shade or kind of tone of the yellow just so each petal isn't exactly the same. And you can also see that I'm working off of a sketch. And for me personally, it's so important to use a sketch when I'm doing bouquets or florals. And that's because it forces me to rationalize where the stems are and how things kind of layer together. Next, I'm gonna move on and do all the stems. So for that, I'm gonna use the same fuzzy round brush, just a smaller size, and I'm gonna do all the stems on the same layer in a couple different shades of green. And to finish up the stems and add a touch of detail, I'm gonna use a darker, more bluish green. And on these kind of sideways flowers, I'm gonna add some detail just at the base of each one. And once you've got all the main colors laid down, we can move on and focus on the blending. And for that, we don't need the sketch anymore, so I'm gonna switch that off. Now, if I just start using the water blender, uh, it's really hard to blend within the silhouette of the flower. It just goes off into the white so easily. So to fix that, I'm gonna use something called Alpha Lock. And to do that, all I gotta do is just tap on our layer and then turn on Alpha Lock. Now when I use the water blender, it w it'll blend, but it won't go off into the white areas. And this is my trick for getting a really consistent wet on wet watercolor blending effect. So I'm gonna go through uh, all the flowers and stems here and very lightly blend it. Next, I wanna give these flowers a little bit more depth by adding some shadows. And since this style is very kind of impressionist and abstract, I like to exaggerate the shadows by making them very cold and blue. And to do that, I'm just gonna zoom out here. Then I'll use the selection tool set to freehand. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of random selections just wherever I think there should be a shadow. In this case, I'm just gonna focus those on the stems and not the flowers. There we go. Then I'll feather all those selections out at the same time, just a little bit. Then I can go to hue, saturation, and brightness. I can darken the shadows, saturate them, and then shift it over to a bluish tone. And shifting the color this way also makes the green stems a little bit more interesting. And with the blending and shading done, I can move on and start adding some details. And the first detail here is I'm gonna make the center of the flowers a little bit saturated. So for that, I'll make a new layer above the flowers I'll choose a pretty saturated pink tone like that. Then using the fuzzy round brush again, I'm just gonna add a little blob kind of to the center of each flower. And the reason I did this on its own layer is because I wanna blend them all at the same time. And I can do that by just going to Gauss and Blur and then tapping and sliding and just blending those out so they're super soft. And just like how adding uh, bluish shadows to these stems made them more interesting, adding this kind of purple blush in the center of the flowers also makes them more interesting as well. And the next part is optional, but uh, I recommend trying it. Just use the eraser brush at a pretty small size and erase through that kind of center blush. And uh, it creates this interesting kind of negative painting style. And I like it, so I'm gonna go through and do this to each uh, flower. Now, I really love this kind of blush effect, but it's a little bit too strong right now. So to fix that, I'm just gonna lighten the opacity of that layer. There we go. Next, I'm gonna move on and start adding some line details. So for that, I'll make a new layer above everything. Personally, I like to use a really dark uh, blue tone instead of black. 
For the brush, I'm going to use the Forster Fine Liner. And the details on these flowers are really simple. I'm just going to do a kind of circle of dots like this. And then on the sideways flower, I'll do a few dots as well. But in addition, I'll do a little detail there on the end of the stem. So it definitely depends on exactly which flowers you're painting. But for these ones, I think it looks nice to add a kind of light orange outline to the flowers as well. And there we go. This uh, simple bouquet of yellow flowers is all done. And uh, here's a look at the final result. And that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, please don't forget to like this video if you think I've earned it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're looking for another flower painting project, I really think you'll like my Cosmo tutorial and I'll link it over here.